Hello, today we are going to change the front tire on your scooter and in this video I will show you how! how. Well, hello and welcome. Today we are going to change the front tire for your scooter. The front tire for your scooter is right here. This is the front tire that you're going to need in your scooter. It's a 130 60 13. That's a for a Chinese scooter, 150cc GY6 motor. Now there is a lot of other scooters, so make sure when you buy your tire, you buy the perfect size for your scooter, okay? This tire are tested on your scooter. The size of the tire is being tested for your scooter. That's what your scooter is supposed to have. That's what your scooter needs, okay? So this, you can buy them on Amazon or online for around 50 to $60. I will put the link down here on this video. If you like, you can go on Amazon and purchase this tire at any time. So really, when is the time for you to change the tire? Especially the front one. The time to change the tire is going to be before it's going to be too late, okay? So you have to keep an eye on your treading that you have on your tire. If you're treading on your tire that are lower than two millimeter, it's time to change your tire. Don't wait another day, because that could be your last day. I really don't want you that, that happen to you, okay? So it's very important that you don't wait change the tire as soon as possible. When you see that the tire is too low, when you see that your tire is too smooth, you don't have any treading, that's you're gonna have a problem. So okay, please change the tire as soon as possible. Now, if it's the rear tire, it's going to be a little less risky because the rear tire, if it explodes or if it gets damaged and you lose all the pressure in the tire, your body of the scooter is going to do this, okay? and you have you are able to stop your scooter now if you really have a problem with the front tire there is a possibility that when the tire break could stop the wheel and make you catapult so you're going to be flying and it's not really nice feeling okay you know they say the flying is a nice feeling but when you do it in the street you have a problem okay so listen change the tire as soon as possible okay the first thing you have to do is adjust in your scooter and adjust yourself to the scooter so to change the tire you want to be safe that you're not going to crash your hand or you want to be safe that your scooter is not going to fall on the ground so first thing to do is to place your scooter on the center stand and in a flat surface on a flat piece of ground okay so that's very important so move your scooter and place it perfectly okay right here i think is a perfect place for me to put my scooter now Make sure that the scooter is stable, okay? You don't want to work in a scooter that is not stable. So if you don't work in a place that is not stable, you might have problems. Your scooter might fall down. You might hurt your hands. Something could happen. So make sure that your scooter is in a place and safe location. Okay, right after you place your scooter on the center stand, make sure it's nice and firm. Now, at this point, you can inspect your old tire and look what's wrong. Many times, uh, all the tire, they get the wear in the center part. That's where you ride in every time. You don't ride too much on the side. So the side, they look a lot better than the center. But this one can be a big problem because uh, in the center, if you don't have any channels or any threads, at that point, your front part can slide away when you're riding your scooter and you try to turn this part is going to slide away from you so you might face the ground so you really want to change this tire as soon as possible okay if you have less than two millimeter right here of thread make sure you change this tire okay this tire 
looks pretty done. Now the first thing that I like to do is to remove uh, right here this nut right here. You have a nut right here and you have a nut on the other side. This nut right here is a 17 millimeter. The one on the other side is a 14 millimeter. Now there is a chance of when you are unscrewing this one, the one on the other side is going to move too. So you have to stop that one with the wrench on the other side with the 14 millimeter wrench. And this one is a 17. Now, if it's not moving, you can stop it from moving. Now this one, you have to make sure that the other one on the other side is not moving. You can put your hands to have a feeling if it's moving. Right now I feel that it's moving, so you have to stop the one on the right side from moving, okay? Now at this point, look like that this nut is coming out. Place it in a good location so you're not going to forget where these nuts is. So usually I put it under, underneath my scooter so I'm not going to step on this nut. Right after you're done with this one, you can place and push this part right here in the center. But you're going to need uh, like a long screwdriver to push this axle on the other side and recover the axle on the other side. So you can use like a Phillips screwdriver, that is a nice one, long one, and you can push the axle on the other side. If you see on the other side, the axle is coming out, okay? From this side, you can remove this axle right here, just pulling the wheel a little bit up, and you can remove this axle right here, okay? Very easy. Place this one underneath your scooter so you're not going to step on it. After you remove the axle, this wheel is free, okay? So you just have to slightly pull the scooter front part up so you can remove this tire, okay? Right here you have to be careful because you have the gear for the speedometer right here. So you, do, you want to make sure you don't lose anything, okay? Right here, there's the gears right inside here for the speedometer, right there. Make sure there's always a little grease inside there. You want to have a little grease, because this part moves a lot. Now on the right side, right here, you're going to have a spacer right in the center, okay? This one is a spacer that you have on the center of the rotor, okay? Now this one place it underneath the scooter so you're not going to step on it and this part you're not going to lose it. At this point you can elevate the scooter and remove the tire. This is the tire for a GY650cc. Now at this point, what I suggest you, to disinflate this tire, just cut off the valve, because this valve, you're not gonna need it anymore, okay? And you don't wanna have an old valve on a tire, because uh, you might have a problem later. If you look at this tire right here, there's also fiber right here. See, before you see this one on your tire, make sure you change it. Sometimes uh, you don't realize how low they are the tire, but you have to realize that it's very important to change this tire as soon as possible. Right after you remove the tire from your scooter, you should cut off the valve with an exacto knife so you can remove the air that is inside your tire. So just place your finger right here to bend a little bit this valve and you can cut off the valve. 
right after you remove the valve on your tire at this point you need to have a little bottle that you can use dish soap and you can spray all around your tire so this tire will move a lot better when you want to move it you know and uh, you want to remove this tire is good the soap will help you a lot now at the same time later you can wash even your rim with this one okay so if your rim looks very dirty with this one you're going to have a lot of help now right after you put some soap you know let it stay for a few seconds okay so the soap is gonna go inside try to push a little bit on the side of the tire so it's going to slightly go inside the soap and it's going to help you right after you can buy this one on Amazon they're about $10 they help you a lot to don't scratch the rim and you can place it right here on the side by pushing slightly pushing down right here the tire you push down the tire and you place this one on so this one will help you to do not scratch your rim and that's really a big help now you can also buy these ones on Amazon they're pretty cheap you know they're really affordable and with this one you can help yourself to remove this tire now you really want to make a little space for you to go in with this one so you're going to be okay you're not going to be damaging the rim but you want to make some space from you going down now take your time don't rush yourself because you want to do everything right okay so this one you place it right here you can force yourself with this one to go in to remove this tire now there is a possibility that might, you might need a little more soap that will help you to go in with the first uh, lever right here so if you go in with a little more soap this tire will remove a lot better okay now in this front part right here you have the rotor so you have to be careful with the rotor but at the same time the rotor will help you out now because the rotor is going to hold this lever right here but they're made of rubber so they're not going to damage your rotor okay and here you can place another one of these guides so you're not going to damage your rim and you always put a little more soap that this soap is going to help you out to go in with the protector of the rim and the spoon the large spoon you know changing the tire is slightly annoying but the one in the front is a little less annoying than the one in the back okay changing the tire is slightly annoying all the time but the one in the front is a lot easier than the one in the back so going to be a lot better changing the one in the front and the one in the back so if I will spend some money and go to a mechanic I will change the one in the back from a mechanic because the one in the front is a lot easier so you know take your time no rush yourself little by little this tire will come out but don't stress okay you see after you're done the first part right here the first quarter it starts to become a lot easier to remove this tire see half of the tire already came out now you can start to pull this tire away from the rim like that putting a little a little energy on your tire okay so try to pull this one out little by little without hurting yourself you can place right here you can place one of these lever right here so you're gonna leverage yourself right here and you're going to put this one this way
So little by little you can remove this tire with these ones and go all around the rim so it's going to help you. Okay. Now try to pull the rim away from the tire. Might take you a little extra soap to remove this tire from the rim, you know, if it doesn't want to come out, because sometimes they don't come out so easily, so you will have to push a little harder, okay? Now, do an inspection of this one when you remove it just to see how bad it was. And, you know, I could do a few more miles, but I will not push it, okay? So when the tire is right dead, remove it. Okay, place a new one. At this point, you want to wash the rim and have a brand new clean rim. So at the point, we can start to place a new valve on this rim right here. You can place a new valve and you can place a new tire. I like these valves right here, they're, they're curved. Now, if when you place this valve, make sure that this curved part is not going to go where is the rotor. Make sure that this valve will point on the other side so you have more room to place the air on your scooter. Now, just place it right here where is the valve. Make sure it's straight underneath, okay? That looks nice like that, okay? At this point, with a large screwdriver, there's a Phillips screwdriver right here, you can place this valve in by just pressing, okay? Do not press too much, you don't want to damage the valve. You don't really need to push too much, you just need to push a little bit. Now, slightly adjust this valve before you're going to place the tire in, okay? Because if you don't adjust it, this one might be on the side, you don't want to come out straight from your rim, right there, okay? So, make sure you did a good job to put this one right here. You don't need to put any glue or any grease right here nothing okay nice and clean the pressure of the rubber of this this one right here the valve is going to keep the air inside now at this point just place this rim the tire right here and we're going to unwrap the new tire right here we have the new tire now with the exacto knife from the outside inside out right here you're going to cut this uh, paper okay so from the inside out but don't go too deep you don't want to cut the tire okay you just want to cut the rough of this tire right here right here make sure you take everything away from this tire it's like a little unwrapping like a Christmas on August okay so now make sure that when you open this one, you're using your eyes uh, and you want to make sure that your tire is nice, okay? Make sure the tire doesn't have any cuts. You, know, you want to make sure the tire is not damaged because it uh, takes to 3.5 seconds to send it back where it came from if it's not right, okay? And unfortunately, you have to wait a little longer to change your tire, but this one has to be a perfect tire for you and needs to be safe, okay? So, remove everything that you're gonna find inside this tire and put it on the side. Now take your time to do this job nicely and try to recycle as much as you can. Very important, special plastic. And you put it on the side and later we recycle everything. And you never know, never throw away things like this. In the future, you might need them. I always keep a little stuff like that just in case I need some plastic to make something even something for the scooter. So at this point, we need to put this tire on your scooter. Now, the first thing that really we need to do 
is to get the little bottle with the soap and spray the part that has to go on top of your tire right here on top of your rim so let's spray all around this one and then we're gonna turn this one and it's going to go on your rim okay don't worry about spraying all over the rim or the wheel but we're going to clean it later okay because always nice to have a nice clean wheel okay so don't worry so be generous with the soap so because this soap will help you to place your tire okay at this point you're going to place this one right on top of your wheel okay and you're gonna enter in one side or the other one by pressing with two hands left and right you feel it it went in now at this point uh, you want to make sure that you really did the right thing you want to make sure that you have right here the yellow mark has to be where is the valve okay and doesn't matter if the valve looks this way or the other way but you want to make sure that you have the arrow of the rotation right here that is going to rotate this way okay so at this point you try to place this one in a location that you can put this one in and this yellow part has to be where is the valve now at this point you're going to need the help of these little guards so you make sure you don't damage your rim or the wheel you know because it's very important you know I, I don't like to see my my rim or the, 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 the wheel being damaged on the side so you're gonna keep holding this one like that you're going to get one of these one like a large spoon and you're going to place this part inside by pushing it okay you do a little leverage to go inside with this one now you can place another one right here if you like you can place another protector right here that is going to protect the other side of the tire this one they're going to be really easy to take remove later you know with a little bit of soap they remove easily okay at this point you just after you place these two protector for your wheel you can able to put this one down you can put the wheel down little bit of them by little you can place the this tire on its place okay now you need to be patient a little bit because the tire is gonna try is gonna try to come out okay so you have to be take your time and not rush yourself okay we're almost done here so almost when you're finished to uh, place the tire on you can uh, spray with soap and you can clean the tire all the way and the rim so you want to make sure everything is nice and clean very important to have everything nice and clean on a bike you know you don't want to have any grease or nothing that is not supposed to be there okay okay right here we are almost done okay at this point we are ready to place the tire on the scooter right here I will remove uh, the caliper right here because the caliper will give you a slightly hard time okay so this one you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket to remove this caliper and sometimes it's a little hard but it's always better to remove it because you're going to have a less hard time to place your wheel because usually those uh, brake pad they, try, they they want to squeeze your uh, your rotor and then you're going to have a problem so so it's better if you widen your caliper a little bit before you place it inside the before you place it inside the wheel okay now at this point you remove this one and those are 12 millimeter try to keep this one higher you don't want to hang this one by itself by the uh, hose uh, 
the caliper can be damaged if the hose is gonna be break, okay? Now at this point, right here you have your wheel. Make sure you have on the right side the gear for the speedometer, right here on the right side, okay? Now in this position, you need to place uh, the spacer on this side right here. And you kind of have to work on it because uh, this one, you have the speedometer, okay? You place the wheel, nothing will come loose, uh, like your spacer. And on the other side, you need to place uh, right here the speedometer with the gear. So look where is the gear and you want to match the same gear with the other gear, okay? You want to make sure that looks good, okay? Now when they match uh, at this point, uh, you need to place the shaft. Placing this shaft right here, it's gonna first in one side, and I always st start from the side of the speedometer, okay? And I'll slightly raise uh, the tire and the wheel with my hand. Now, on the other side, you have to make sure you have the spacer. Okay. At this point, you can press uh, the shaft on the other side. And raise the tire a little bit so you can go with the shaft on the other side. That's it. You kind of have to synchronize yourself by placing the shaft, making sure this uh, speedometer gear is right, uh, and on the other side, you have to make sure you have the spacer right here, put it in the right, right place. So you kind of have to juggle a little bit to put this wheel in, okay? At this point, you can place the nut right here. You can put some uh, thread lock, blue thread lock on this gear, you know, on the, on the shaft to make sure that the nut will not come off, okay? Right here. Now you have to make sure that the other one on the other side is not going to turn, okay? Now at one point when you tie this right here, you have to stop the other nut on the other side from stop moving because if not you're not going to be able to tie this one because the other one on the other side is gonna turn on you okay so it's gonna give you a hard time now make sure you tie it as you can because you want to be safe okay but don't tie it too much you might damage the threading Okay, now at this point uh, you are able to place back the caliper right here so you're not going to have any problem with your disc. Now make sure everything is nice and clean, okay? You want to keep everything nice and clean, especially the rotor right here, you don't want to have any grease or nothing. You can grease everywhere else, but don't put any grease on the rotor, okay? You know, everything can be clean, especially with the rubbing alcohol you can clean everything very nicely. Also, there's other products that you can use, uh, then you can clean the tire, okay? And the wheel. So, it's always very good to don't have anything dirty right here. Now, make sure you do the right thing, make sure you tie this one nicely, and you wanna make sure that the tire is spinning freely, okay? You wanna make sure that you did a good job, you wanna make sure that this tire is not scratching anywhere, and also, try to spin the wheel and go in the top and try to see if the speedometer is working because you want to make sure that you did the right thing on the gear of the speedometer okay so that would be on this side right here okay this is the speedometer right here now make sure also on this side that you have your scooter nice and clean okay right after this one you can put back the caliper right here. For this caliper right here, you're going to 
do need a 12 millimeter socket to put the bolt back. Now we place the caliper up here and the, the rotor supposed to be in the middle of the pads, okay? So make sure you put the pads right here. You know, check also on the other side. Use your eyes on the other side if you did the right thing and you place the and you place the pads in the right way because you don't want to go and place the pads in, in sideways you know so now at this point you can tie these ones and this one is a 12 millimeter socket now since you're here and if you have some brake cleaner you can clean the brake pad so you haven't you're going to have a longer life on your brake pad it's always nice to keep things nice and clean. So things that are nice and clean sometimes or many times they last longer. Okay. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight, but not too tight. You don't want to strip those bolts right here. Okay. Now go on the other side. Spin the wheel. You know, you want to make sure that this wheel is turning freely. It's good. Now little by little, it's gonna adjust himself. You know, the brake pad usually, sometimes they squeeze and then reopen. So when they reopen, they will adjust to the new adjustment of the, of the rotor, okay? So, after you've done that, you are okay. You are golden with your scooter. You just change the front wheel. And at this point, make sure everything is clean. You don't want to have any grease. You don't want to have anything dirty around your scooter or on your wheel or on your rotor. Okay, make sure at night everything is nice and looking clean. Okay, at this point, we just finished to change the front tire of your scooter. Please be careful when you do this work. You have to tie nuts and bolts and you have to remove the caliper. You have to do a lot of little things. You have to remove the old tire. Be careful with your hands. Uh, now, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Please click the like button, subscribe to my channel anytime, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.